Hello guys, this is Tushar. I just wanted to log a quick video about uh, one of the Trello workflows I implemented recently using uh, Butler. I have been using Trello Kanban board for some time now for managing my projects. And I also use Todoist in conjunction with uh, Trello using some integrations between the two. And while we are at it, let me tell you why I use both Todoist and Trello. Um, well, with Todoist it's easy to uh, jot down a list of your ideas or items and then later on apply a WBS kind of thing to break them into finer tasks. So a to do is, is is more suited to a GTD getting things done kind of view uh, to quickly jot down a list. However when it comes to visualizing your project on a daily basis uh, the Kanban boards are the best at it I think since they provide a kind of a daily burn down view of your project. So Todoist along with the Trello and the integrations really work well for me. Alright so let's get back to uh, the Trello automated workflow using Butler. Now my requirement here was quite simple uh, which was to use as uh, some subtasks within the main story card. A uh, very natural scenario where you have uh, a main task and you might have dependencies or subtasks um, which you want to you know tie up with the main card. So let me show you on a project. I've got a sample project here. So as you can see in the first uh, list, which which is a backlog list, I've got a number of main tasks. Uh, now you, if you want to add subtasks, you can do it. Uh, generally, there are two ways to do it. Either you create them, you create the subtasks within the main card, and they remain inside, or you can convert the subtasks, each one of them, into uh, you know physically visible separate cards linked to the main card. In my case I wanted um, subtasks not to be visible when they are in the backlog column because they clutter the view of the main tasks. So I I only wanted them to be visible when they are moved to the successive lists like the queued or the in progress. So for example let's add some subtasks to the main task A. If you add a checklist let's uh, name this as a subtask checklist. So as you as you can see, um, the subtasks uh, are you know highlighted with this uh, fraction kind of figure, uh, which highlights there are four tasks and zero being done out of those four. So in this case, uh, which is option one, we have no visibility of uh, the subtasks. Uh, they are hidden inside the main card. The other option is we can convert them into cards and in this case as you can see um, there are physically created cards on Trello and further you can actually link these subtasks with the main tasks there is a separate workflow for that or in that case uh, you know the main task will have the links here linked to the physical cards both these options didn't work for me because um, I didn't want to clutter my backlog view with a lot of subtasks and at the same time when I start working on the main task I wanted, wanted the subtasks to be visible so uh, you know reiterating my requirement was when the task main task is moved to the successive list only then the physical cards should be created this was possible using the butler so let's first get rid of uh, all these tasks and start again Now let's add them again. So first of all let's uh, install the butler on our board. Um, you need to go to add power up. Search for butler and then click add and you will see a butler button here. Now just for your knowledge uh, this is a free account and in free account you are limited to only uh, you know one workflow for each of these so let's open up butler now and uh, automate our workflow click on the rules add a rule it's quite simple actually so when a card is added to list name queued which is my second list 
by anyone and click add then I think we can choose this option convert all the items in the checklist and here you have to give the name of the checklist so we will call it subtasks checklist convert all the items in the checklist subtask into linked cards and you can actually enhance this uh, workflow by saying using pattern card name and the card link let's add this save save it and let's repeat again when a card is added to the list queued by anyone convert all the items in the checklist of tasks into linked cards using the pattern card name using the pattern this cool so we are done this is enabled let's refresh the board and see if this works for us so here we are moving the main task A to Qt and as you can see it's automatically creating all the subtasks if you open up the main card you can see links to the subtasks and the subtasks also have a Trello attach attachment for the main card so looks cool in this way only when I start working on the main task I I made I make the subtasks visible hopefully this was helpful and I am also attaching the butler script in the YouTube video description uh, that's all for today thank you thanks guys bye bye